Hello, this is High Templar with my new Total War Warhammer multiplayer battle and today we will be playing a 2 vs 2 with Bretonia and Vampire Counts on one side and Border Law and Empire on the other. As you can see, my Bretonian force will be led by King Lanelka and there is also Damsel here and I have some Shaft Infantry, some Spear and Halberds and some Foot Squires but I also have four archers, pox ones, so poison ones, two knights of the realms, two questing knights, two royal pegasus, and single trebuchet. And we will see army of my friend Celester, who I will be playing with very, very shortly. So he's uh, he actually have Manfred von Karstein, who is here in this mess of units right here and uh, also brought two Vargas units, two Felbats for really annoying the opponent and then we have gra uh, Graveguard with great weapons Graveguards, Stensmen, Graveguard and Graveguard with great weapons supported by three units of Crypt Horrors, we have Mortis Engine in the back and two Blood Knights. Positioning of my troops, you can see. For the Imperial player, he put uh, those units in the forest here. We have Outriders with grenade launchers, two of them, which is uh, would be a good move if we wouldn't pick armies like that. And then Demigriff's Knights, two units, no other Griffites, surprisingly. You should be very aware that Outriders are could be caught very, very easily by the flying units and Bretonians and Empires will bring flying units and the fast flying units and Outriders will not be able to outrun them. So... Your opponent might be scouting forests to check if there are no troops. And we will do just that. Then we have three mortars, which is again would be better if there would be just cannons because mortars do not do much armor piercing. We have a steam tank, which is not a bad idea. Although I I don't really like it, but I've seen people use it with great effect. We have four units of crossbowmen, and again uh, against both Britonia and uh, vampires, I would just pick hand gunners. Although the crossbowmen will be very effective against Vargeists and bat units, obviously. They will be a lot less effective against infantry, but they will be able to shoot from the back. Then we have swordmen in the front. Again, do not really understand this. I do understand crossbowmen, but swordmen would be not very bad at fighting other stealthmen or foot squires. And uh, it's uh, no longer times when Bretonia will bring... Uh, uh, peasant, uh, peasants with uh, with, uh, with uh, spears. So there's that. For the other army, Bordello player has brought Alberic de Boldero, quite obviously, and then we have uh, Paladin on the Pegasus, which is surprising. He also brought Royal Hippogriff Knights, which you will see in the battle, I guess. I did some tests on them and I'm not amused. Two units of questing knights here and uh, three units of knights errands. So very heavy anti-infantry build. Very, very heavy anti-infantry build. We have three peasants bowmen, one fire, one pox and one normal. If you can micro them, that would be quite a good effect. Grail very curly, supported by two units of foot squires and spearmen at arms. Strangely enough, spearmen are in the center and uh, foot squires are on the flank which makes them vulnerable for the cavalry attacks, especially that those guys are not anti-large. So I feel like this flank is a bit exposed. And there is also Grail Knight. So yeah, let's play it. We are obviously moving, all of us. However, my friend is quite closer to the enemy. I've brought a trebuchet. I was a bit afraid that those guys will bring cannons, but they didn't. Trebuchets would be... I would brought more trebuchets. But trebuchets and as you can see, we are going to scout the forest. 
there are some that was as direct hit on the bats didn't do much and they are attacking the blood knights but they will not do much also to the blood knights although they did few kills the blind knights have very nice armor and they will be able to regenerate and as you can see here we are catching those units there he's running away with the demigriff knights but we are charging with my pegasi into those grenade launchers both units of my pegasus are engaged with those outriders and they are not going away on this flank we see a charge and we see already those guys moving into flanking position and the blood knights have actually run away in the wrong side of the field obviously those guys are destroyed pretty fast and we are moving behind the enemy for even more uh, for even more flanking positions Unfortunately, my forces got left a uh, bit behind. That was my mistake. They are being pounded heavily by the artillery of my enemy, but we will just going to ignore it for a moment. My questing knights are going in here. There is no units for, no real target for quest for my knights of realm, and they are way too far to help those uh, grave guards. And this will be amazing charge straight in the back of this great knight of those units and these are knight errands if you do cycle charge them they will absolutely destroy those grave guards that was a very very good move and i'm struggling to put my forces in a fight but i am making a charge with my grey knights into the infantry they should be more than enough to take out those troops I will be cycle charging them obviously well I'm still under attack so those mortars will do a heavy toll on my units and now right now it's maybe not visible but we are not actually taking out car France with all this flying power here we are trying to get down car France as you can see our units are mostly unchallenged only Manfred got a bit and uh, I will be cycle charging my questing knights and moving my knights of the realm in the back my units are charging in finally I am using some flock of doom here and then I will be supporting with more spells and my archers are opening into those uh, demigriff knights and also to those questing knights. My foot squires are going into the questing knights, so this will be bad for them. I've casted another flock of doom, and here I'm supporting all the units fighting here. But they were broken very, very fast. All of them, uh, except for those spearmen who are fighting knights around, and they are doing pretty good. On this flank, we have destroyed Carflands and I'm cycle charging again this I will actually be a blood knight's charge and I am charging from the back with my knights of the realm straight into those mortars and uh, with everything basically trying to get take them out this will be a very quick charge and I will retreat Here we can see that those guys are not doing very well. I caught them with my men at arms just to stop the knights errands really. And now I'll be shooting them and my spearmen are running after them. In here we have uh, Royal Hippogriff Knights trying to take out my foot squires. And they did pretty well with routing them. As you can see our forces are absolutely destroying those swordmen here. Now Knights of the Realm charging back and again and here is my questing knights already recharging and charging straight into all those forces into into the back of our enemies and doing very very nice job another charge from the questing knights into the wavering demigriffs the demigriffs were actually charged by the knights of the realm and the swordmen were charged by the questing knights here 
The tank is fighting against some my men at arms, but I'm putting foot squires as soon as I will notice. And the blood knights are actually charging them. As you can see, this is pretty much all over at the moment. There is lots of infantry here, but the grave uh, guards managed to actually stop all of that. And uh, my men at arms, pole arms, did a number on the units here and there is very few units still fighting here. Royal Hippogriff Knight destroyed by my Royal Pegasi and King Luen. They are all dead right here. But just too many flyers were here and the Alberic of Bordelot is being chased by all my flying units, which is too much, way too much. I should not be focusing on them. Another uh, Knights of the Realm charge into the back of this infantry and I am putting everything I have here. And my questing knights and mud arms, pole arms and foot squires are all of them armor piercing, fighting the steam tank. And this is going to be very very bad for them obviously, more and more units coming in. While my peasant bowmen managed to actually rout all those swordmen even without cycle charging with questing knights. And this is a close victory. Let's see the stats. We can actually see all the stats right now. So as you can see my men at arms did well what they are supposed to do means die and make a speed bump. Men at arms spearmans were fighting knights errands and they did pretty nice job. Men at arms pole arms did decent job. Foot squires this unit was absolutely destroyed by those uh, royal hippogriffs knights from the flank but those foot squires did Decent job, peasant bowmen did, pox arrows did decently. Well, they did very few kills, but they were supposed to poison my enemy. And I was focusing on my cavalry, and you can see that in this particular battle. Damsel casted several spells, I think six in total, supporting, uh, casting three flock of dooms and three uh, wizard wild forms. And those Pegasus uh, Knights were fighting mostly large units, cavalry heroes and similar. Questing Knights, amazing. Run Knights of Realm, pretty nice, although I put them way too late into the game, I was too sluggish with them. But you know me, I'm generally not very fast. So there's that. Celestial, I also was way too fast to put my guys in the fight, I should be communicating better with Celestia and telling him to stay for a moment even in the mortar's fire if we would attack attack with our infantry at the same time it would wield better results and I would be able to at least shield him a bit. I was also not aware his left flank was so exposed so he was actually doing extremely weight with the grave guards they did amazing job and the Crypt Horrors did a bit worse. The Vargas were hunting like my Pegasus Knights or the large units. The Mortis Engine was there for support. Hellbat did quite a good job for what they went for. The Blood Knights are in very good condition even at the end of the battle. As for our opponent, one with a classy name, his Foot Squires did uh, better than mine, but like I said, I didn't actually focus on them and they had two XP ranks on them. His peasant bowmen did terribly, much better, much worse than ours. The knights errants seem like the charge were pretty devastating, but it seemed from the numbers it wasn't so good. And I guess this unit actually got into my bowmen and my men at arms, so that's why the numbers. But they did broke the morale. Their questing knights did average. Grenade, uh, gray knights was uh, were destroyed by my pegasi, and. Uh, some other flying units. Royal Hippogriff Knights, this unit cost 2000, didn't do very well and Blessed Trebuchet did okay. Alberic did pretty good. Alright. Pancake Hunter, in my opinion, uh, made a few mistakes in this battle. He did not charge my units and he should, he was just staying there. His Mortars did amazing job and his Team Tank did amazing job. He left his demigriff knights a bit too long and a uh, bit too long in, a fa in the just staying position, didn't charge them, didn't try to put them close to the spearmen because our 
his uh, his uh, friend had three spear units that were close to his line. So putting them close there would shield him from the flyers. Outriders were obviously a mistake at the very beginning, but the Demigriff's Knight would have done better. His crossbowman did okay, and swordman did okay on stopping the car. France was trying to take out Manfred. In the end, all the units, all the Al Alberic and Karl Franz managed to take out Manfred, but their troops didn't crumble. So that's interesting. A bright wizard here casting at least one vortex spell didn't do as well also. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you like it. If you did, press like, comment if you will, and see my other videos. I do mechanics videos, deals analysis and speculation videos, and also, well, let's play in Total War series. But I also do uh, let's play in other games, and I will be doing soon uh, Mass Effect and Andromeda. So I hope you like it, and see you later.